Hello, Konstantin here. Today I want to talk to you about text area element. Text area is kind of input which allow users to enter large amount of text into a form uh, on a website. It's different from a regular input type text because it allows for multiple lines of text. Uh, think of it as a bigger version of text input field uh, where user can type a message, a comment, or any long-form text they need to input. Alright, let's write some example code. And let's start, as usual, with label. And let's write, enter your comment. And we'll specify the for attribute. user message and let's write a text area which is defined by text area tag and uh, let's give it an ID of user message mm. and let's uh, give it a name of user message Uh, and let's save it and now let's see uh, we have like a default text area so we can enter a couple of lines of text and let's add here a couple of attributes which are specific for text area element those are rows let's give it a 5 and calls uh, stands for columns. Let's give it 30. And as you see, uh, our text area element uh, gets bigger. Uh, so with this uh, rows and calls attribute, uh, you can specify uh, the size of your text area. So let's give it a rows of, I don't know, 20. And as you see, we have a, a large text area here. Uh, let's make a break here. And let's add a break here. All right. And uh, as you see, uh, from uh, the, the default behavior of the text area is that user can actually resize it. Uh, that's kind of cool feature. If user is entering a large amount of text, user can just specify uh, how the text area could look like. But if we want to prevent this behavior, we can do that by, by the style attribute. Uh, so we can add a style and give it resize, resize none. And after that, uh, the size of your text area will be fixed. All right, uh, that's it for uh, text area. Uh, give me a comment if you have some questions. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and happy learning!